Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Observation Turret Number One Fall, fall Over Troubling Waters Update by Block Hamster 34. Now, the notes on this one said it's my first map and I would appreciate as much constructive criticism as possible, please. So I will try my best. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump into the description. A test observed by turrets. I would rate it E for everyone. Old jokes, haha. The update prevents an intense solution involving cubes. They also auto spawn, spawn, auto spawn, auto spawn when fizzled. Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber reduction line, it reminded me, it reminded of my. What? Jerry, what do you want? I'm recording. Pre recorded messages here. Hmm, really? According to Jerry here, the Aperture Science Observation and Submission Team have vanished. So tests today and possibly in the future will be mod monitored by our military androids, the turrets. I wouldn't recommend filling out their submission forms. Just try to get close just try to get close to them. Ha! Your funeral, pal. Well We'll have the proper team back as soon as possible, which could be never, who knows. Cave out. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. And Jerry? Pack your things. Why? Because you're fired. Get out of my office. Astronaut, war hero, Olympian, you still here? There's tests to be done. This is my first test chamber impulse two. I hope you enjoy it and give me as much constructive criticism as you can. Thanks for playing. Looks like there is some hints, but without further ado, let's jump into the map, shall we? And uh, like I say, I will try my very best to give you some constructive criticism. All right. Okay, so this is gel. And opens up the fizzler. Alright, so we'll do that for a start. Okay. Not really sure what the point of um, putting that turret there is. It kind of just seems more annoyance than anything. Right, so... That's not what we're doing there. The only thing I guess is the funnel is going to reverse at some point. That would be my guess as to why that's done like that. Uh, I wonder. Just pretend I went over there and pressed the button. That's not what I wanted to do. Get into the funnel. Seems like our only option at the moment. Okay. Uh, okay. Not really sure what the point of that is. Like a return path, I guess. Return path. Why you need the stairs here? Unless it's part of the puzzle, I don't really know. You could probably lose the stairs. If I am completely honest. Alright, what's over here? Let's have a look. Disables Fizzler. sure why we're disabling the fizzler at this point. So I guess we're now going to want to use the return path. Okay. 
That's seriously not hitting the turret. Okay then. I mean, if that's the intended thing to do with like the bounce gel here, I'm not really sure why. We can get rid of that with the funnel, actually. We don't need that. I'm not really sure why we need to go through the whole. Um, why the fizzler? I mean, I guess we want bounce gel. Just ignore me. I'm just thinking out loud at the moment. I'm trying to think of some things that I can give you constructive criticism on. Uh, right, let's go rid of the turret. Save that. Okay, so. Um, next pop call, we're going to want to get into there. Oh, we could probably do that with that, right? So let's go over here. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a cube. Isn't that good? Save ourselves from going all the way back like that. And that is a dash. Dash just does that, does it? Yes, it seems so. Hey, Mr. Companion Cube, what you doing? Okay, so I guess you want me to... Alright, let's see what you want me to do here. I just want to get rid of that first. I can hear a sure I can hear a freaking turret somewhere. Uh, also, that's very close to being a trapping situation there. Just to... I'm sure there's a better way that the player can probably get down, so you may want to look at that. Okay. So it's a thing I did. Also, what's with the signage? The signage is like a little weird, the fact that there's like two triangles there. Hmm. Maybe there's just that much signage in the map. Um, I mean, for like the light bridges here, LB would probably say that you could use an antline because it's, it's not a massive distance. So yeah, maybe just something to keep note there. Alright, so... Try only to use signage, I guess, when um, there is like a big, big um, gap between things. Alright. Okay. That was dash. I haven't seen a way actually to um, open up this um, area here. Oh. Was that done by the laser? Yeah, I guess it is. All right, I'll reload. Save, save me having to do that again. Uh, okay, so that is because of the laser. So, okay, we should be. That should be it then. 
So, okay. If that is it. Okay, so I guess this area here then is like a little hidden easter egg area. There's just a turret down there. Okay, so um, let's think about... So I guess what you're trying to do here with the cleansing gel here is prevent the use of bounce gel because I guess you could probably like bounce up there to do that. Um, I'm not sure what this panel here is for. I didn't use that and it doesn't really seem overly useful. Um, if you you could better do this um, rather than having the cleansing gel here, um, you could lower it by one block and just make this area grating. So that if anyone tries to use bounce gel around here, or just go to the like the block below, um, just to save the use of those um, water droppers there. Um, that area, uh, it's not a trapping situation. There's no trapping situations. Um, like I said, I don't know what that panel there was for because I never used that. Um, heading back out here. Uh, the Fizzler. What was the Fizzler for? What's the, is, is the Fizzler meant to prevent me from doing something? I don't know. Uh, I thought maybe it would be a way to stop us from getting gel over here in the, like, the early instances of the map, but it doesn't seem like we need the gel, the bounce gel, anywhere else. I honestly thought we'd like use it later on in the puzzle, given that um, there was that was there. So, um, yeah. Um, let's say I said about these steps before you really don't need to have these as part of the button I don't think it would break the map in any way shape or form to um, It doesn't break the map in any way shape or form to have that all uh, Open all the time alternatively you could get rid of the laser field and keep the stairs or do something like around here So that when you press the button You can get back up Although, why would you want to get back up? Normally, return paths are kind of like one way. So, I would personally say, as long as you can't see like the funnel or anything here, just get rid of the stairs and the laser grid. I really don't think there is any need for it at all. A return path is normally something that the player will use when they have made a mistake and they need to go back to like rectify something. So... There shouldn't really be a need to come back up here. I don't think I used that as part of my solution. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Um, so yeah, I don't think the fizzle is needed. I don't think that and the stairs are needed. I uh, don't think the water dropper is needed because you can change the floor to grating. So that it drops the area below. Um, through here... Um, that's it. If you don't, if you do what I did for a start and you go for the um, turret first rather than the button, then there is the opportunity for. I can see that Franken. Where is that Franken turret, man? Yeah, there's the opportunity there for the player to potentially. I mean, I did make it, but it was very tight. It was very close to. Um, where is that Franken turret? I can't see it anywhere, but I can freaking hear it. I'm getting distracted in my thought, my thing as well. I know where it is. I'm not hearing things, am I? Guys, come on. Tell me that I'm not going, like, completely crazy. You guys hear that, Franken turret? Franken cube, sorry.
You hear some weird noises in this game. Anyway, I digress. I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, there's um, maybe you need to like, just think about the way you did that area there. Um, I said I made the jump, but maybe other players uh, might not. And if you fail and you don't press the button, you've got to go back down onto the grating, um, and the panel's already like gone back into the wall. Um, yeah, it's not very good. Um, other than like a little Easter egg area. Um, that doesn't really add anything. I mean, if you want to kind of like just allow the player to go down there and um, kill the turret, maybe you should have just maybe like a, a clear window or something and maybe just have a laser that turns on and just kills the turret in the end. I, I don't know. Maybe just a few suggestions. Um, yeah, and just, base, just try and cut down on like the signage and things. Like, again, here, you've got the... The thing that opens this door right next to it, so an ant line there would have been suffice. You really don't need the signage. Signage is, like I said earlier on, when you've got like long distance between items. Anyway, um, hope that is like some useful criticism. Um, LB is far more. Um, uh, it has a lot more experience in giving criticism. So if you want any further criticisms, go and check out LB. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match slides to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google form. A link to that's in the description. But until next time, I've been Knock, you've been awesome. See ya.